hi guys so i'm back again this is mike so in this video i'm going to show you how to perform an email open source intelligence uh, with the tool that i like mostly it is called mosint which is mail osint so this email osint uh, tool is actually developed and written in go language so this is one of the very good tools to use basically if you are doing a penetration test on on a company so if you are doing a penetration test on a company you can start uh, doing some open source intelligence in order to identify vulnerabilities basically on humans or the client side attacks so this is one of the most critical tools to have now um, if you can just go to google and then google uh mosint mosint then you'll be able to find this tool right here but uh for us let's start using hunter.io which is one of the tools that i think will lead you to usage of uh, mosint uh, because we will not forget the maltego remember that maltego is one of the most good tools to get the 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 OSINT into hands so now we have got the companies we can start at microsoft microsoft.com in order to check on hunter so that we can be able to see now we can see that um there are 100 percent emails uh, 99 percent so th this means they are emails that are actually existing so uh, one thing that i think we can use we can export all this if we take it to microsoft or uh, we can use um, some other companies such as photocom .ls. so this is one of the of the good of the good ones so we can tell you that it's belonging to the human resources now uh, we have copied this link because it doesn't belong to an individual so i won't be able to target an individual here this is where i'm targeting this uh this uh this careers at vodacom.co.ls so now we can start going to our mosint in order to check so we've got mosint this is main.go which is the 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 main program or the code that has got main function of the program right here because this is a script now what we can do is to come up with uh, let's go run main.go okay so now let me do this uh, and then do case so that we can be able to check um, this is the basic way to run this now we've got uh, some basic information uh, you can see that Twitter it's not uh, quite available but we can even uh, then like all let me check something here okay um, I just wanted to to do something like so then we can be able to see that this all is no more available let me try to remove this so that we can ask for help so that we can be able to see now we have mustn't email and flex so this was there was another version of this motion tool that allowed us to to have some certain flags uh, now i can see that there is still a problem so maybe they are still maintaining it so let's help yes we can see that there are no more other other flags now but even though we can be able to identify IP addresses and the name servers here uh, even mail exchange then we can be able to see that all this information is very important if you are doing your open source intelligence investigation so another email of mine we can test it um, 
let's check for I'm no more using this uh, uh huh curve ls so this is no more existing so now you can be able to check and then see this information is actually available this is verified but i am not using it anymore so another email address that we, you can be able to check um there are some many things that you can do yeah, such as uh, let me check bzh at gmail.com so that we can be able to see the difference so just that now we can be able to see that this H has uh, this code and then is there on Adobe even uh, now you can see the IP address and then all this stuff so this is the very pretty good stuff that if you are doing an open source intelligence then you can be able to find using Mosint thank you guys for watching if you like this video please like share and subscribe this will make me make more content. Thank you very much.